Hey guys, it's Andrew from Cardinal Kia. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use your trip counters and monitor your fuel consumption in the all new 2023 Kia Sportage. I have in front of me here an LX front wheel drive in donning red. Let's get started. Okay, so to start us off, we are gonna head into the instrument panel here, and we're gonna use these buttons on the right side of the steering wheel here to navigate through. We're gonna use what I like to call the sheet of paper button to go sideways through the menu, and then we use up and down to go up and down through the menu, and when you push in the black button, that is okay to select what's highlighted. So I'm gonna hit that sheet of paper button to go sideways over to where the little car is there, and now we happen to be in the trip counter list. So the screen we're on right now is the drive info screen. So the information in here is the distance you've gone on that trip, your average liters per 100 kilometers for that distance, and then you have a uh, gauge at the bottom here to show you what your instant fuel economy is. So this will have a bar that goes back and forth across depending on like how aggressive you're accelerating or how much fuel you happen to be using at the particular point in time, let's say if even if you're just cruising at a set speed. So that's gonna let you know what you're using in an instant and a Above it, of course, would be the average. So the drive info screen is giving you the information for the current drive and it will reset itself for the next drive. So you don't have to worry about resetting it. You can just by pressing and holding OK here and it would then uh, wipe that out, but it was already at zero because I haven't gone anywhere on this particular trip. When you go to turn off the car and exit it, you'll see a screen that pops up to give you what the drive information was for that particular trip. And again, it will reset itself for the next one. So if I go and pull down on the black button, it will take us to since refueling. So this is since the last time that fuel was put into this car. Now this Sportage happens to be a demo, so you can clearly see over here that we're in need of some fuel, um, but it's only been about 102.4 uh, kilometers since fuel was put in this the last time, and at that particular, uh, for that distance there, your average was at 12.2 liters per 100 kilometers. So I mean, we're in the cold here, there's a lot of different things that can contribute to what that average is, but again, we would have the instant um, if we wanted to be on this screen while we're driving, um, and it will give us what the instant fuel economy is, and it will reset itself again the next time um, you go to put fuel in, it will reset itself um, to give you the information from that time on. While I was editing, I completely forgot to mention the distance to empty at the top, but now this is like the next day. So whoever was driving this, there's now a bit more fuel in here, so our gas light isn't on anymore. And the since refueling has reset itself. So it's only gone nine kilometers on this trip. Now the average, of course, is gonna be very high because it hasn't gone very far at all. Um, but yeah, it reset itself for when you went to the next trip. And the distance to empty at the top here is gonna bounce around. So you have a full tank, and it might just say, for example's sake, 600 kilometers to the tank. But with a brand new vehicle and you haven't really driven it much yet, that number is going to bounce around the first couple fill-ups and it's just kind of getting used to your driving style with like the highway versus the, the city driving. So if you went on a couple tanks of a very long drive where you're mostly on the highway and you're going more of a consistent speed and you'll see again in your instant uh, gauge bar here um, where you're sitting in the instant fuel economy, but if you go those couple tanks on highway driving, you're gonna get more mileage on the highway driving versus a couple, let's say the next couple tanks are in the city driving. Well, when you go to fill up, the number up here might say, again, just for example, 550 or 525, because now you're driving more in the city with more stop and go, um, and depending on how you're accelerating. So that number can bounce around a bit too, but it does help you still monitor um, kind of where it's at. So if you find it's starting to go lower, 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 your average is going higher, higher, you know, again, that's where it, you might be able to make some adjustments to your driving style for it. Okay, to continue with what I shot yesterday. And if I pull down on the black button again, we have your, our accumulated info. So this is the, again, the distance you've gone on that trip, your average fuel economy and your instant. So that's the distance that this has gone since the last time this screen was reset. Now the accumulated info, this one never resets unless you reset it yourself. So if you were to press and hold OK on any of these screens, you can do it um, to start it over again, but I'm gonna press and hold OK and it's now gonna start that information fresh. 
okay? So you can use this for a specific trip where you know if you're gonna stop, you might restart the car, therefore the drive info will start from the beginning again, but this one here will, again, never reset unless you reset it. So you can use it for an entire week's worth of a trip if you wanted to know what the distance was and what your fuel economy was uh, for that particular trip. So it's up to you if you wanna keep the, uh, this on any of the, uh, <laughs> Keep any of these screens in the middle while you're driving. It's all personal preference what you want in there, but this is just gonna help you be able to kind of monitor and see what you're doing as far as fuel economy. Um, so maybe you could even change your driving habits if you find that you're not getting as uh, best fuel economy as you can. Um, of course, keeping up with oil changes. There's lots of different factors. This is just about where you can go in um, and see the information uh, and then take it from there. And that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys.